Now, there were two engineers who were inside this train when the tornado came through, apparently didn't know a tornado was approaching. They were not hurt, however. They stayed inside the train, waited for help to arrive, and managed to escape safely. Uh, William Wallace, if you'll step over here, he's the emergency management director for Bourbon County. You and your wife actually saw at least the debris field of this tornado as it came through. Plume as it came up. We were standing at our outside of our home, about a mile and a half west of here, and actually saw the debris as it was coming up from this particular area right here. Fortunately, you are safe, and we understand that everybody in Bourbon County, to your knowledge, escaped safely. Yes. There, as far as we know, at this time, uh, without uh, any further information coming in, we have went to the multiple sites uh, that did report damage, and uh, uh, no one was hurt, no one was killed. There were a few uh, livestock, some livestock was hurt and damaged uh, in this uh, uh particular uh, tornado, but that was about it. I understand a large dairy farm had some damage. Yes. There was some light damage to some homes in this yes. area. As far as this train is concerned, no chemicals or anything of that sort that would present any sort of environmental hazard? No, at this point in time, just some few cars were derailed, but uh, the Burlington Northern San Francisco is taking it under control, and they're bringing in heavy equipment to set them back on the tracks, and they're going to pull the grain tires out, and they'll be all good. Okay, hopefully that'll happen soon. Thanks, yes. William Wallace, Thank Emergency you. Management Director. For now, as he said, we're waiting for the heavy equipment to come in. In the meantime, Soldier Road and Wagon Road are closed in this area, might remain closed for the indefinite future, at least until they can get this mess cleared out of here and everything will be a bit safer after that. This is Dow Quick reporting near Fort Scott, Kansas. There were some people that needed assistance. We've raised some funds and taken care of um, some of those needs, and now we're bringing in the crews to kind of help them get their lives put back together and get them back to their sense of normal. It's really cool and it's exciting to see like how you are making a difference in the community and you're actually helping someone. The kids are awesome. They're, they're what make the trip worthwhile. Um, they do things um, without asking, they, um, without complaining, and um, they work hard. And um, you can tell that they definitely have servants' hearts. And so it's, it's pretty awesome to see. Even though you may not know the person, you can still help no matter what, because they've been through a lot. And it's just good to lend out a helping hand. It, it makes them feel good that they can do something, that they can pitch in, that they know that that, that God has called them to say, "Hey, lend a hand," and um, and it does. It helps them too. The Bulldogs were more like wonder dogs from a year ago for first-year head coach Doug Buckmaster. After dropping the first game of the season, the team went on a run as they would not lose until the third round of the playoffs. It was quite a turnaround, and they hope to keep running this season. We're a little ahead of where we were at this time last year. Uh, our, our big focus is just to keep getting better. Our, our football team last year got better each and every week, and uh, if these kids will do the same, uh, I think we can have another outstanding season. You know, we're, we're feared by our competitors in our, in our conference, but um, we have a lot to work for, and we're not giving up now. Back-to-back -back Big 8 championships and making the playoffs is what the dogs are focused on. And with a roster that has nearly 80 players, depth will not play a factor. The team needs to rely on what they did a year ago, mix that with a few new faces, and keep it rolling. Carl Junction hasn't had a state championship in a while for football, so you know that's kind of our that's kind of our main goal is to you know play at least 15 games this season. So that's pretty much how we keep all the young guys motivated. You know, keep pushing to get better. You know, we want to be the best in the area. Tanya, I'm here at the location where the victim was found in a vehicle near the 3500 block of Cherry Road. Officials tell me there is still no suspect in custody at this time. Authorities say the victim is a 44-year-old male and is currently in stable condition at Freeman Hospital with two gunshot wounds. Officials say the victim was under the influence of intoxicants or some type of drug and that the incident was most likely a personal conflict. Authorities say the circumstances indicate that it was likely a drug deal gone bad, but the incident remains under investigation at this time. Reporting in Newton County, Kaylee Doherty, KOM News.
Now let's fold it in half and make it look more like a pizza slice. Mm -hmm. 